There's no love lost between Falkirk and Dunfermline at the best of times and passions were running high in the cup tie at Brockville. Chances in the early stages were few and far between and it was the 12th minute before Dunfermline opened the scoring. Jerry Britton slipping the ball to Stuart Petrie, Petrie with his third goal of the season. A lovely ball from Britton, Nelson well beaten and Dunfermline 1-0 up. Falkirk's equaliser was well worth the wait. Kevin McAllister with a great solo run, shrugging off all in his way and disposing of Westwater as well. Quality finishing by the diminutive striker, much to the delight of the home support. Falkirk back in the game, the cup tie finally poised at 1-1. In the second half, Dunfermline took the initiative straight away, Nelson stopping Andy Todd's header. The pars continued to turn the screw, and this time it was the post which stopped Andy Todd. Dunfermline could have edged ahead minutes later. The long ball from Colin Miller, great control from Andy Smith, and what a save by Nelson. The Falkirk stopper keeping his side in the cup. The defence were having a busy time of it. Fortunately for them, Craig Robertson's volley was well over. The home fans were getting restless, but they were soon cheered up as Falkirk made the breakthrough. Jamie McGowan well up for the corner, David Hagen in space and driving low into the corner. Could Falkirk be heading for a place in the last eight? Former Dunfermline player Kenny Ward with the corner, a timely header from McGowan and Hagen skillfully makes it 2-1 Falkirk. But could the First Division side hold out as Dunfermline desperately tried to get themselves back into the match? This effort, though, was going nowhere. In fact, it was Falkirk who might have gone even further ahead seven minutes from time. Kenny Ward again the provider and Scott Crabb not far away with this one. It was a nervy last few minutes. Dunfermline just couldn't find a way through a packed Falkirk defence. It just wasn't going to be their day. In the final chance of the match, Colin Miller sweeps the ball into the box. But again it fails to find the target, thwarted by another fine save from Nelson. So Falkirk claim a memorable Scottish Cup scalp. At last the Brockville fans have something to shout about. We knew it would be a tremendous atmosphere today, you know, a great rivalry between Falkirk and, uh, and Dunfermline. But uh, I was very proud of the players. You know, we changed our system today, they adapted very, very well. Please for them and please for the fans. They encouraged them right from the start and we've had a lean spell here so hopefully that victory of the day will give the players a lot of confidence.